G'day Hammerheads, how's it going? So today I'm trying out an SDS core bit or a concrete hole saw, I guess. So I had a viewer question about can you use these in stone? And I was like, yeah, probably, but uh, I figured, you know, why not just grab one and actually try it out? So let's see how it goes. Okay, so this particular one is just a sort of home brand one from one of our local uh, tool chains here in Australia. It's 50 millimeters or about two inches. It looks like it's got an eight millimeter inside there. Uh, so it seems to work just like a, a normal wood hole saw. You've got your guide bit there uh, that sits inside an arbor, SDS of course for our rotary hammer. And that's like an M20 thread or something like that. So the guide bit is held on with the screw into the arbor. Now I've never used one of these guys before. I only ever drilled, you know, 12-ish millimeters uh, in rock for rock climbing anchors. And joining me so far is the DCH-133. So that's a one inch drill. Now this is more like two inches, uh, but the ratings are for solid bits, not core bits. Now I have a bit of concrete here. Uh, this is pretty old, so we'll see how well it goes. I think this little piece might crumble. Usually threads will rattle off, and this was no exception. So that's working all right so far though. So pretty, pretty easily, like that worked very well. I'm pretty impressed with how that went. Um, I was expecting the pucks to be more of a problem, but it really just sort of destroyed that. So anyway, let's try this. So this here is quartzite. This is about as hard as rock gets. So uh, this is gonna basically be the definitive challenge for something like that. And uh, as you can see, all the little teeth are still in pretty good order. So yeah, let's give it a shot. God damn it, the bloody bolt flip flew out. Did you see where it went? Okay, so I found it. It didn't go very far. So I got my mask on, so if the audio is terrible, that's why. Okay, so unforeseen problem. So I've been undone by a shitty bolt. It's like the threads are maybe stripped or something, so I guess I tightened it up too hard, but it's only a class four bolt, so that's low tensile, so uh, I guess you get what you pay for. This is a pretty cheap set, so basically I'm just going to have to go home and see if I can find a better bolt. So I just ran home to grab a better bolt. So that's uh, so that's an A470, so almost uh, twice as strong as a low tensile. So hopefully that'll hold on. I also put a little uh, locking nut on there as well. Let's uh, give it a go. All right, guys, so I am back. I just wanted to try one more thing. So the viewer question was about, can you use this specific drill uh, to drill that size hole? Um, now, I don't know what kind of stone they're working with. It's probably not this hard, but I figured, you know, let's try and uh, finish this job off. So I just wanted to try one more thing with a six millimeter bit. I'm just gonna work out some of the material around the outside of that hole. 
and uh, basically see if that helps um, because this one the impact force isn't quite enough to work with that size hole in this particular stone now of course if this doesn't work you just go and hire a STS max drill or something and you know that should get the job done pretty quick but you know out of interest for the sake of completeness let's just uh, try and finish her off Okay, so let's see if that works. It looks like the drill is still in good shape. So that has worked a lot better with a little bit of pre-drilling around the edge. Uh, we've gotten a couple of inches in, we've gotten about that far in, so 50-ish 50, 50 millimetres. And we even had the puck come out after a while too, so very cool. Uh, the hole feel, so the hole feels uh, pretty smooth inside there. There's no big ruts from the uh, pre-drilling around the outside. Uh, that's pretty good. I reckon uh, I'm going to call that a success. All right, guys, well, I'm going to call that a success. Uh, I hope I never actually have to do that for a real job. I've actually got a few bigger hammers than that that can hit harder. We'll be able to do the job easier. But if you've got like a one inch hammer like this one and you've got a drill really, really hard rock like this, uh, I, th I think that'll work. Um, it definitely helps to do a bit of pre-drilling. So I would say uh, scour the surface first with the core drill just to make sure you've got your, uh, your circle and then go in with a much smaller drill bit drill around the edges uh, and that worked no worries there at all but be careful if you're using this drill in particular watch out for the binding it does not have kickback control um, so make sure you use the side handle make sure you're braced because it's really easy to catch this bit on the sides of the hole uh, it's definitely a skill that you would just get used to and if you've got a sort of mid-size hammer like a one inch hammer and uh, 25 bucks you can probably do it uh, but if you want to do it easily, go and hire yourself an SDS Max drill and that'll probably do it a lot quicker. Another couple of lessons learned and uh, like I said, this was actually a viewer question. Uh, so if there's anything simple like this that you want to know, hit us up in the comments. I'll see what I can do. And if I can't help you, you know, there's probably going to be somebody else out there too. And together we can work this shit out. So anyway, thanks for watching. Scratch later.